Yo! What up guys, welcome back to another one. And as I promised, the last pigeon trapping video was to be continued. That's right, I told you we got a new trap. The last one as y'all seen on the last video. It's a big one, it's Jordan's trap. It is a beautiful trap, but it's a really big trap, a real bulky trap. And as a lot of you know that watched last video, y'all know we are trapping feral pigeons. These are not loft raised domesticated pigeons, y'all. So, video number two. I told y'all we got a uh, special trap. Oh, look at her, oh yeah. Just looks quite innocent, don't she? Oh yeah, until something bumps it. Oh! As you can tell, it's not meant to harm the bird. That's one thing I didn't want. Oh, that's one thing I don't like. It got caught right there. Still trying to learn how to use this bad boy the best and in the most effective way because this net likes to get caught a little bit on our lever here. But as you can tell, like I said, it's spring-loaded. On the last video, I kind of hinted around about it and it is for sure spring-loaded. It's actually a lot faster than I anticipated. It's a lot nicer than I thought. I thought the trigger might be, you know, a little too firm. Oh no, it's very easy to flip that bad boy. I do kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but maybe being smaller will help. This is how she works, y'all. Fold this back like so, stand on it. Bring over your lever. Put it underneath their little food tray. As you can tell, it's very touchy. But I do want to see how touchy it is. That is a very, very small rock. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> very, very touchy. So, I think uh, the challenge of this trap is one thing. Uh, it'll catch them really nicely if they come up in here. But the one thing is going to be to get a pigeon to actually peck some food off of our tray. Well, we are headed to the truck stop now, and uh, the truck stop is where all the pigeons are, and that's where we're trying to trap them. But boy, have I looked forward to some good pigeon trapping videos, y'all. I've been hyping them up, but now we're finally doing it. You guys absolutely loved the first one that went up, and I was so, so, so happy to see that. I'm like, yes, they like it, so do I. Let's get after these bad boys. So we got the new trap on board we're pulling up to the truck stop as we speak so my goal here is to see where the pigeons want to be today it's kind of day-to-day -day deal who they're on the they're on the north side today that's not good but we do have what is it one two three four five of them right here and a pretty red one right there just a beaut see you guys later so they're feeding on a little pile away from the rest of it which is good I'm gonna make a new little pile and put our trap on it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Here's our little guy. I was expecting it to be larger, but it's not. But you know what? We're gonna make it work, guaranteed. So they're feeding on that little pile of wheat there, and then they're feeding on this itty bitty pile of wheat due to it's the farthest away from, you know, any structure and away from where Jordan's big trap is still no luck with the big trap but it's okay this one's gonna look a lot less intimidating for sure but I'm gonna have to put it over here out of the way so it don't get ran over and trucks have been using this again to pull in and dump I really don't want my my trap ran over that would stink believe it or not that bad boy right there <laughs> That bad boy was $160. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. This is what we got going on. The little pile that they liked over there, I cleaned it up. I put it all right here. The, the trap is set, ready to go. We got the food in the little bucket. Let's hope they just come by and knock it. If they can get in this vicinity at all, thing is hairpin, let me tell you. Now we're taking the risk of it getting hit, y'all. But I did move the big trap a little closer, put the GoPro on it, hopefully it catches it. Basically, I don't want my GoPro ran over, so I put it on the top of the trap, hoping that the truckers will see both and they don't hit any of it. Hopefully, you know. Accidents happen, but we got our fingers crossed. So I'm getting out of here. I am excited. This trap should work. The pigeons, a lot of them aren't here 
and this is like prime time they should be really really gathering up here look at this this is a battle right here like on the first video I said there was a lot of feed scattered everywhere check it out underneath that trailer right there there's just probably what is that 15 birds under there oh I'm pulling up here and I just seen a massive flock of pigeons get up and go back down they're all here boys they are here do we have one in the new trap it would be a miracle that fast it would be a miracle doesn't look like it is it even sit let's see if it went off no it has not went off it has not went off I'm going to avoid the area because check it out here they all are a lot of them are here there's probably about I don't know 50 60 of them here now there we go now we got them about 10 yards away from the trap all they got to do is bump it one just has to get in there one doesn't even necessarily have to be eating from the tray you know just basically has to get in there and bump the cage that's all that's all but that's a very small area for that pigeon to be in to get caught so man they're getting like I don't know I think they're getting within probably a yard a yard and a half literally a few feet they're checking out the trap that food is what they really want they they really want that wheat that I put on there because that's what they were feeding on earlier and they're going to their first oh here comes one oh my goodness he came within a foot of it but in the meantime I went and got me a little bit of Taco Bell Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh boy, well I just moved the traps. See it there, it's buried under a bunch of beans. <clears throat> so, uh, I've been sitting here eating my Taco Bell, watching these birds out of the binoculars and they have been stacking up on that pile of beans, and I mean stacking. So I actually buried the entire trap, turned the GoPro around, because if I would have had it turned around that entire time, we would have had some epic footage. So, we got the camera pointed where they want to be. We got the new trap exactly where they want to be, covered up. That thing is so sensitive. I'm hoping it don't go off on accident. Boys, we just got one in in Jordan's big trap. 
I've been watching him in the, in the binoculars and seriously, he's been going in, he's been eating. It's where I put all the wheat. Look, they don't want to leave. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <gasps> oh my goodness. First one, boys. First one. Woo! That literally took a week. Aww. One week. There he is. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. But they've been getting in there, loving it, but just that guy gave it up finally. Tricked him into doing it. I, you can tell I put some weed in there. And it worked, they finally got used to it. These birds wanna land on me. But what we got here is I uh, made a makeshift little container for transportation. Put some air holes in the top of it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we caught one in the big trap before the small trap and I think it's reason the reason is, is because this one this trap has been here for a really long time oh there we go buddy easy I don't want to hurt him oh, there we go there we go check that out first feral bird trapped at the truck stop baby Woo! now we're gonna put him in our bucket there he is <laughs> That is so cool. I did not expect to trap one in this trap before that one. That is crazy. We got to call Jordan here. What's up? What up? Oh, just starting to get clean up rolling. Are ya? Well, caught the first pigeon. Yeah, right on. Dude, I caught it in, in, your, uh, in your trap. <laughs> no way. Yeah, dude, I had the, I'm hoping that the GoPro didn't cut out when I picked it up. I don't know if it had turned off and got hot or, or what or died on me. And they had, these two pigeons had been fighting previously before I moved it. They had been fighting to get in the door because I sprinkled a bunch of wheat right inside the door of yours. Uh -huh. And uh, they were fighting, I mean, pecking at each other's heads. I don't know if the angle of the dangle of the GoPro caught it all. I hope so. But, uh, That'd be sweet. dude, they all bumped out three times, got scared out, and then the last time, uh, came up there, and I couldn't, I didn't even know that one was in there, and they all got scared off him, and dude, he was in there. He was running circles, freaking out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Dude, insane. Hey, what do you think, dude? He got a, uh, he got a new pet friend. Old Frederick just got home. I told the wife, haven't showed her, and I haven't showed the kids. The kids are gonna be so excited, they're not even gonna be able to see straight. Uh, but what I did is I rigged up the cage here, I zip tied it all shut. This is just an old dog cage that I've had laying around. We have to get the build and the whole loft and everything since we finally trapped our first pigeon. Can't believe it, it literally took over a week. Look at him, he's just ready to fly out. Come here, bud. Oh, there he is. There he is. I'm not good at handling them yet. There he is. Check it out. How neat is that? First pigeon ever trapped. It literally took over, well over a week. Insane. But we're going to put him in here. There you go, buddy. He's going to freak out for a minute. Like I said, that's a feral pigeon. That is not a loft domesticated bird. Calm down, dude. Calm down. It's all right. We're going to leave him alone for a little bit and let him calm down here. Well, we finally got our pigeon all secured. Got him some water. What do you think, dude? What are you thinking, man? He's really calmed down now. But... Like always, you guys know the drill now. We gotta name him. I don't know if it's a him or a her. I don't really care, it's really not important. I probably need to find that out. <laughs> but he is a, uh, he's a checker. He's a blue checker. If you guys have any, any good ideas for names, we have to name our new checkered friend here. You guys know a lot of the pigeons. Some are blue bar, some are white, some are red bar. This is a blue checker. But whatever name you guys can come up with, whether it's funny, I don't mind. Guy name, girl name, you gotta drop it down below in the comments section. 
And guys, if you like this video, you know what you got to do. You have to, one, subscribe, and two, smash that thumbs up button, because this is just the start of it. Just the start of it. Yesterday, I put up the first pigeon trapping video, and we didn't trap anything. We got some good GoPro footage, but today, it actually happened. That last video was filmed probably four days ago, and I actually left the trap out of there for the last two days. So maybe it was just that. They had gotten used to the trap. I pulled it away. They got extra used to the spot, and then I reintroduced the trap, and I put that wheat. The handful of wheat that I put right at the doorway worked perfectly. Crazy! It's been so hard. I was seriously doubting whether we were actually going to even catch one, and I did not expect to catch one in the big in the big trap. I just think it was a perfect situation. Perfect situation. That wheat did it. Those two were fighting over it. I really hope we captured it on the GoPro, but I'm really, really glad. Above all, I'm glad that you guys are here to experience this with me. Uh, if it wasn't for your guys' video recommendations that I always ask you about, when I ask you guys what do you want to see, you guys always pull through and pigeon trapping. I don't know, it was probably a handful of months ago, was suggested, and I wrote it down, and now we finally got it done. But thank you all for being here. Make sure you go down in the description and check out all the Ducks merch we got down there. We got the Ducks t-shirt of the month, which actually enters you to win a brand new Excel duck boat that we're giving away at the end of the season. Check it all out down in the description below. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that